Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In today's video I'll show you how I made these slides using PowerPoint. And for these slides we're gonna use the Morph Transition, so if you don't have it, you just have to go to PowerPoint.new on your browser to use it for free. This slide has over 6 million views on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. And I'll start with a light purple background for this one and I'm gonna insert a circle here. I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard and duplicate it a couple of times just by dragging the mouse to the right. And for these ones I'm gonna make these two larger and this one and we're gonna keep it smaller. I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm gonna change the color to a very bright purple. For this one I'm going to select the black outline and a white fill and then I'm going to double click on the white circle here so I can write inside and for this one I'm going to use the font Archivo Black and I'm just going to write a name and maybe a little description, maybe it could be a title or your age or pretty much anything you like. I'm going to change the color to purple as well. To make sure that this circle is centered in the slide, go to Align, Align to Center and Align to Middle. Now we're going to select this second circle right here and I'm going to change the outline to black and for this one I'm going to align it to center, align it to middle and then I'm going to go to my browser and select an image. I found this one on unsplash.com. Select the circle, go to the format shape panel and select picture texture fill from clipboard and then click on the crop button and select fill. And then we're going to duplicate the slide with control D. And for this one, I'm going to move this circle to the right. Then I'm going to select the purple circle here, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to make it larger. So it takes the whole area of the slide. Then I'm going to select both of these circles and group them with Ctrl G and align it to center and align it to middle and then I'm going to ungroup them with Ctrl Shift G. Then I'm going to go back to my previous slide, select the purple circle, go to align, align to center and align to middle then go to the second slide, click on transitions and then click on morph and that's it, that's how you can make this awesome slide in PowerPoint. Now to make this second slide we're gonna start by inserting an icon, so go to insert icons and search for quote, select the quote mark and click on insert I'm going to move it a little bit to the left and then I'm going to click on convert to shape. I'm going to group it with Ctrl G and I'm going to make it larger and then I'm going to ungroup with Ctrl Shift G. Then I'm going to select no outline and I'm going to change the color to this light green and then I'm going to insert my quote here which will be a quote by Martin Luther King. For this one I'm using the font Helvetica New um, Bold and I'm just going to make it a little bit larger and then I'm going to add his name at the bottom. And I'll take this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and to follow me on Instagram at lurutiappt and on TikTok at lurutia.ppt. And I'm going to insert a white rectangle here without any outlines or anything. It will help us cover this area of the slide and it will help us later on for the animation. And then I'm just going to insert this PNG of Martin Luther King that I found online. I'm going to flip it, so rotate, flip horizontal and I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to select the quote mark from the left and holding shift I'm going to select the rectangle as well and we're going to right click and bring to front. 
for the animation we're going to duplicate the slide with ctrl D and we're just going to drag every single element except for the white rectangle at the bottom uh, we're going to leave that one there uh, but we're going to take all of the elements outside of our white area and then we're going to go to the second slide go to transitions and click on morph Now, the third one has over 4 million views on Instagram. And for this one, I'm gonna start with right click, format background, and I'm gonna change the background color to black. Then I'm gonna insert a text box, and I'm gonna write the word agenda. This slide is super versatile because you don't need to use it as an agenda, but you can use it to showcase maybe a process or something that requires four steps or even more and i always hold ctrl and drag uh, to duplicate and i just replace the text because for me that's the quickest way to create some text placeholders and again i'm gonna insert a text box and i'm gonna write like maybe a description or something like that this is this lorem ipsum i get questioned a lot what does it mean and it's basically just placeholder text it doesn't mean anything so once you have one it's easier to duplicate the whole group with uh, holding control on your keyboard and dragging the mouse to the right and if you want to make sure that everything is distributed evenly just select all the boxes go to align and distribute horizontally and then you can just match the numbers um, at the top so here i'm just replacing the numbers then i'm gonna insert a rounded rectangle and i'm gonna cover the fourth and last point i'm gonna round the corners a little bit less with the yellow dot there and then I'm gonna change the color and right click send to back and then I'm gonna change the text color to black now I'm gonna duplicate the slide with ctrl D and I'm gonna select the first slide and then I'm gonna move the um, shape to the left and I'm gonna repeat the process I'm gonna change the color of the text to black and then I'm going to change the color of the shape. Again, duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and make all the changes on that first slide. Here I picked the color purple. Again, duplicate Ctrl D, move it to the left, change the color of the text and change the color of the shape. And then I'm going to select from slides 2 to 4. I'm going to go to transitions and we're going to apply the transition morph. And there you go, guys. That's how I did these three super viral PowerPoint slides. Instagram and TikTok saw them first. So make sure to follow me there at the Luca PPT. And also remember that I have free PowerPoint templates available for you on lurutiappt.com Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every week and thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video